Oke, kita terjemahkan judulnya terlebih dahulu ya. Lesson 22. A glass envelope. A glass envelope. Bacanya envelope ya. Pelajaran ke-22 yang berjudul sebuah amplop kaca. Sebuah amplop kaca ya. Glass kaca, amplop, amplop. Kemudian isi teksnya My daughter Daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Artinya, anak perempuan saya, Jane, tidak pernah membayangkan menerima sebuah surat atau sepucuk surat dari seorang gadis seusianya atau sebayanya di Belanda. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel Mr. Imran Khusus Bahasa Inggris Online Okay guys, my subscribers How are you everybody? I hope that all of you are in good condition Amin So today in this video I would like to explain about English by using New Concept English Method In Lesson 22 Under the title A Glass Envelope I will speak in Bahasa Indonesia. So, ketemu lagi dengan saya, Mr. Imron, khusus Bahasa Inggris Online. Oke, teman-teman, di video saya kali ini, saya akan melanjutkan video pelajaran Bahasa Inggris menggunakan metode New Concept English dengan pelajaran nomor 22 dengan judul Sebuah Amplop Kaca. Nah, dengan belajar Bahasa Inggris melalui teks, saya harap Subscriber saya, penonton saya yang ingin belajar bahasa Inggris Bisa paham bagaimana cara membaca bahasa Inggris Bagaimana cara ngomong bahasa Inggris dengan baik dan benar Untuk itu kita pelajari bahasa Inggris ini dengan memulai bacaan basmala dulu Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Jadi teman-teman Nanti saya akan membacakan teks ini Yang pertama saya baca secara langsung awal sampai akhir yang kedua, nanti saya ulangi dan kalian juga bisa menirukan setelah saya. Oke, langsung saja kita mulai. Lesson 22 A glass envelope My daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel and Jane put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, saya pelankan ya. Lesson 22. Lesson 22. A glass envelope. A glass envelope. My daughter, Jane. My daughter, Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. My daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel. Last year, We were traveling across the channel. And Jane put a piece of paper. And Jane put a piece of paper with her name, with her name, and address on it into a bottle. And address on it into a bottle. 
bottle and a dress on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She threw the bottle into the sea. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, but ten months later, later, late, yeah, later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. She received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, however, they have decided to use the post office. They have decided to use the post office. Letters, letters, letters will cost a little more. Letters will cost a little more. But they will certainly travel faster. But they will certainly travel faster. Gue bisa ya. Jadi ini ada bedanya antara uh, nanti atau kemudian dan surat. Kalau ini nama bacanya late, late, later, later. Kalau ini letter, letter sama later. Beda ya. Kayak kalau ini bacanya later. Late, kalau ini biasa let, let, letter gitu. Ini James sama name sama bacanya ya Jane, name sama. My daughter Jane itu name Jane sama. Saya ulangi lagi ya. Lesson twenty two, a glass envelope. My daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel, and Jane put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Thank you. Oke, okay, setelah kita latihan ngomong bahasa Inggris, sekarang kita terjemahkan ke dalam bahasa Indonesia ya. Oke, okay, kita terjemahkan judulnya terlebih dahulu ya. Lesson 22, A Glass Envelope. A Glass Envelope, bacanya envelope ya. Pelajaran ke-22 yang berjudul, sebuah amplop kaca, sebuah amplop kaca ya. Glass kaca, amplop, amplop. Kemudian isi teksnya My daughter, daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Artinya anak perempuan saya Jane tidak pernah membayangkan menerima sebuah surat atau sepucuk surat dari seorang gadis seusianya atau sebayanya di Belanda. Tuh. Berikutnya, last year we were traveling across the channel and Jane put a piece of paper with her name and address address on it into a bottle. Artinya, 
Tahun lalu kami bepergian melintasi kanal dan Jin meletakkan secari kertas, a piece of paper, secari kertas, ya, dengan nama with her name, dengan namanya dan alamatnya on it di kertas ke dalam sebuah botol into a bottle. Tuh. Next, she threw the bottle into the sea. Artinya dia melemparkan botol itu ke dalam laut. Jadi habis nulis kertas dimasukkan ke botol ditutup tutup dibuang ke laut. Lanjut, she threw she never she never thought of it again. But ten months later, lay lay bacanya lay later itu ya. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Artinya dia tidak pernah mengira atau memikirkannya lagi. Ya, memikirkannya. Thought of it itinya. Nya apa? Nya kertas yang ditulis tadi again lagi. But ten months later, tapi 10 bulan kemudian, she received a letter. Dia menerima uh, sepucuk surat dari seorang gadis di Belanda. Ya, ternyata 10 tahun 10 bulan kemudian dia dapat surat. Ya, ini anak perempuan saya dapat surat dari seorang gadis dari Belanda. Itu. Kemudian both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Artinya, kedua gadis itu menulis surat satu sama lain secara rutin sekarang. Regularly itu secara rutin now sekarang. Each other satu sama lain. However, bagaimanapun atau namun, they have decided to use the post office. Mereka telah memutuskan untuk menggunakan jasa kantor pos. Sudah nggak pakai apa namanya surat kaleng ya tadi atau e, dimasukkan ke botol tadi sudah nggak pakai itu karena sudah saling mengenal dikasih tahu alamatnya kemudian mereka akhirnya surat menyurat lewat kantor pos itu. Next letters ini bacanya letters bukan late Ter, kalau later itu kemudian atau misalkan 10 tahun kemudian 10 years later itu tahun nanti kalau letter itu surat ya letters will cost a little more but they will certainly travel faster ini artinya surat-surat itu akan membutuhkan biaya sedikit will cost akan membutuhkan biaya cost itu biaya ya a little more ya sedikit lebih mahal a little more sedikit lebih mahal but they will certainly travel faster tapi mereka akan mereka, mereka pasti akan uh, terkirim lebih cepat mereka di sini apa mereka kembali ke surat ya mereka akan uh, apa namanya secara pasti terkirim lebih cepat faster lebih cepat kalau pakai botol 10 bulan ya kalau ini pakai kantor pos dan lebih cepat itu ya jadi teman-teman itu artinya ya <tuh> oke itu saja dari saya I hope that uh, my explanation can be useful for you all thank you for watching see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share Assalamualaikum. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.